Welcome back everyone to the Late Night Review. And tonight I'm going to talk about another movie that I absolutely have a lot of nostalgia for. A movie that I really, really think is awesome. A movie that I couldn't wait to see as a kid. One that when it came on TV as a trailer, when I saw the trailer on TV, I recorded it over and over and over again. I'm talking about Lionheart with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And this is a movie that I was so pumped up to see when I was a kid. And before before I talk about that, though, I this is the show. The Late Night Review is the show where I talk about movies that generally I like. Movies that I like, have nostalgia for, and movies that I really, really enjoy. I usually don't talk about movies I don't like unless they're involved with a franchise. If there's a franchise that I like, but there's movies in that franchise that I don't care too much for, I'll mention those. I'll talk about those, but mostly, and I might talk about movies I don't like uh, once in a while, but uh, mostly this show is about movies that I really enjoy. Movies that I have really fond memories for. There's other YouTube channels that focus on all types of movies. Movies they like and movies they don't like. Those guys do a great job. They put up with a lot. They're watching movies that they don't like or they end up not liking them. They review them, analyze them. They're doing really, really a great service for us all so we can watch those and enjoy them. Those guys are working hard. On here, I just, I'm watching movies that I like, talking about them later. Uh, movies that mostly I have nostalgia for, movies that I grew up with, and this is no exception tonight. I love Lionheart. Lionheart is a movie that I've always really liked a lot and will always like, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. I remember when I saw Bloodsport for the first time, then I just, I figured every time I went to the video store, I'm going to look for everything else that this guy is in. And, you know, I found at the video store, I found eventually Black Eagle. I found No Retreat, No Surrender. I saw the trailer for Cyborg, so I couldn't wait to see that. And this one just brings back so many memories. And it reminds me, this movie reminds me of another movie that I like a lot. And actually a couple that I really like a lot that I've talked about on the channel before. And I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I just wanted to say when this movie first came out, I used to record the trailer. I was so pumped to see Van Damme in a new movie that I record what we had two VCRs hooked up together. And one of my hobbies was kind of doing uh, editing, mostly comedy. I, I, I would make scenes even funnier. But in this case here, I just wanted to record the trailer of Lionheart with Van Damme. And I recorded it over and over and over again. That's how pumped I was to see the new movie. And there was a time where I edited it so many times that he kept hitting the guy <laughs> with the elbow in the pool over and over and over again. I don't, I think that was at that time, I think it was kind of accidental. But I just, I wanted to watch the trailer over and over again because I liked it so much. And that's the memory I really, and then when we, my uncle took me to see it and I kept the, the little, uh, I don't have it now, but back then I, I cut out the little advertisement in the newspaper. Remember how you used to look through the newspaper to see when, what shows were on and when they were playing. And if you wanted to get more details, you called and, you know, back in the day. So I kept the little clipping, cut it out of the movie section and kept where Van Damme was standing in his stance. I did the same thing with Cyborg, or I did the same thing with the Kickboxer, I should say. Cyborg, I never saw it in the paper. I just saw the video. I didn't see it at the movies. I just saw the video. That's one of my favorites. But I did the same thing with Kickboxer. And I think Double Impact or Death Warrant. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, Lionheart was always one of my favorites. And when it first came out, it was my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. And it reminded me of Hard Times with Charles Bronson. I've also talked about that on this channel. If you want to see that video, it's on a playlist of all, all of Charles Bronson, all the reviews I've done of him. It's on that playlist. And then the normal review playlist too. It's on there too. Hard Times has always been one of my favorite Charles Bronson movies, one of my favorite movies, period. 
and so is Lionheart. It reminds me of Hard Times, a different story, similar, because they're, they're both fighting, underground fighting, bare knuckle, pretty much no rules. They're fighting and for money. They're both on Hard Times. Thus, the name of the movie, Hard Times with Charles Bronson. Story is different, though, also. There's similarities, but there's differences. Jean-Claude Van Damme's brother gets murdered, and he makes it back. He, he leaves. He's in the French Foreign Legion, and he goes A-W-O-L. Well, he escapes. Not really A-W-O-L, but he escapes in order to see his family. And the escape scene, there's there's a, an action, there was a fighting scene there, a really good action scene where he uses his martial arts to get away. His friend Michael Kesey or Muhammad Kesey is in here. He plays one of the uh, the guards and he, I think he's one of the guards. I'm pretty sure he is. And he's also sent. I think he has more of a role though than just a guard if I remember right. But he goes after Jean-Claude Van Damme. He pursues him into the United States and um, he was also in Kickboxer. He played the iconic character of Tong Po. He was in Bloodsport. He played one of the fighters in Bloodsport. So, and they were friends. They've been friends for many, many years in real life. Trained together, worked out together. I think they're both from Belgium. And uh, yeah, everything I've seen them in, everything I've... I haven't seen all of Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. I've seen his early movies in a couple of the later movies. I think later in his life and his career, obviously the movies weren't even close to being as good as his originals. So I'm going to probably be talking about only the ones I've seen and the, the, the movies that really made him a star and the movies that he made early. Those are my favorites. I think they're better by far than his later movies. Not to say that some of them weren't good, but, I mean, these these were just classics. I mean, like Bloodsport, Cyborg, Kickboxer, Lionheart, Double Impact. I mean, there's so many that I really, really like. Um, this is one of my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. Not just one of my favorite action and martial arts movies. One of my favorite movies, period. Uh, and Jean-Claude Van Damme's movies, too. I'd rank it right up there. I don't know how I would rank the movies I've seen of his. I go back and forth on which one's my favorite. This one was my favorite when it first came out. It's still one of my favorites. Um, I think nowadays my favorite is... I went back to Bloodsport and Double Impact. I think those two... Uh, and sometimes Cyborg. Sometimes I like that the best, too. I haven't really figured that out. Maybe I'll do a Jean-Claude Van Damme ranking in the future which would make it more interesting because if you know what it is now then it's it's not as fun as if you don't know what it is so i i'm going back and forth in my mind which uh jean-claude van damme movies i like the best maybe in the future i'll do a ranking because i still haven't figured it out yet which makes it more exciting because nobody including myself knows exactly what it is but i think cyborg and blood sport are really close to the top. They might be fighting for the number one, two, or three spot. Uh, and I like Double Impact, too, and Lionheart, so we'll see. But anyway, this movie is awesome to me. It's got great action. The martial arts in here are fun, exciting. Uh, these movies usually don't have very realistic, real-world martial arts in them, but they're fun. They're athletic. Jean-Claude Van Damme is one of the greatest movie fighters of all time, how he sells his kicks and his punches. Uh, Bruce Lee was just a magnificent movie fighter, a great fighter in real life, street fighter, you know, practical, real-world stuff, but then also a great movie fighter, too. Maybe the greatest, Jean-Claude Van Damme, people consider him and Bruce Lee as to the greatest film fighters. Obviously, there's a difference between film fighting and real fighting. With Jean-Claude Van Damme movies, they're fun. You know, they're very interesting. Not very realistic fighting scenes, but they're fun and they're interesting. They're athletic. It always inspired me to work out. This movie is no exception, too. When I watched it, I would work out. Uh, when I was, except when I saw it the first, the first few times I saw it, I was really focused and wanted to see it. But later I'd put it on, work out to it, you know, do some martial arts, boxing, and then some kicking too. I used to have little ankle weights where I would kick with those. I did all kinds of stuff. 
And um, now I have my boxing and martial arts monthly routine. I do a big workout once a month. I put it on the channel before. It's on here if you want to see it. Uh, I was kind of shy to put it on YouTube. I never planned on doing that, but my wife said, why don't you put it on there? And it actually got more views than most of my art videos. So that's why I put it on here occasionally. But the movie reviews get more views than any anything. I think Lionheart is just... It's very well done. It's not only got great, fun, athletic martial arts, it's got a good story. He's trying to help his brother's widow and their child to survive, pay the rent. He's fighting on the street for money and for them so he can help them too. It's a heartwarming story too. It's got hope. Uh, the story is very well done. I think there's nothing really wrong with the story. Everyone in here does a pretty good job. The, one of the guards from the prison camp where Van Damme, uh, not, well, it's a military base. It's kind of a base out in the desert. He's in the French Foreign Legion. He escapes in order to see his family, tries to visit his bro dying brother in the hospital. And uh, he makes it to the United States, starts fighting on the underground circuit and makes money, tries to help his brother's widow and their kid. And um, it's a good story. I think the only problem I have with the story is I wish he would have got the guy. You know, in a lot of movies like this, there would be a, an opportunity to have him be the one who got the guys who took his brother out, who murdered his brother. I wish there would have been an angle there. Like, he's fighting, but also on the side, he's tracking them down, too. That would have been a good angle. I think if it was in the movie, it would have been even better. But... That's just a minor complaint because the rest of the movie is so good, so fun and interesting. You know, the characters, the fighters in here are unique, different. It's very similar to Bloodsport, except it's on the, you know, it's a different location, different circumstances, different reasons to fight. So it's like Bloodsport, but it's fun. I'm glad they did this movie. I'm really glad uh, some people might say, well, it's just Bloodsport in a different setting. Yeah, but people love blood sports so much they wanted to see another movie like it a lot of them maybe not all of them i sure did so i'm glad they went this route i'm glad they decided to make this movie and it was really really fun and the guy that was one of the guards he with muhammad kesey michael kesey the other guy that was with him was in rambo 2. rambo 2 was first blood rambo 2. Rambo First Blood Part Two. excuse me, he was in there, he was one of the Russians, he was a Russian guard that uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone fought on the helicopter, in the back of the helicopter, and um, finally threw him out the helicopter, had kind of, a, he had his knife back there, and then he took out his knife after he defeated him, and then the other, the pilot jumped out of the helicopter, I remember him in that movie, Jeff Speakman, one of my favorites of all time, had a small role in Lionheart. He was one of the mansion security guards in here. He has a little role in here. And uh, this is when he was just getting into acting and starting. And what a, I think one day I'll have to do a review of The Perfect Weapon. I love that movie. It's I've got to, I think I have to do that. It might be coming up on the channel. Jeff Speakman's a guy that had the potential to be the one of the great new action stars. And um, he got a bad deal. You know, it wasn't his fault. He got, if you've seen interviews with him, he got shafted by some higher ups. And But um, i probably talk about that if I do a um, uh, perfect weapon review in the future. I'll talk about that, perhaps touch on it. But uh, I, uh, I think that Lionheart is a movie that's inspirational. It's got great characters in here. Uh, Attila, the main guy who fights at the end, was well cast. And I think everything in here has all the elements of an action martial arts movie that I want. And the character of Russell in here, he's played by Brian Thompson. You know, he's the guy that's always standing next to, uh, he's always with Cynthia in here. And uh, they're the people that basically are managing Jean-Claude Van Damme. You know, they're the higher ups that are kind of that are kind of helping him, but also double cross him and manipulate him. And Van Damme uh, gets him at the end, you know, gets, they kind of get what they deserve at the end. But Brian Thompson, he's a good actor, good performer. He was in 
Cobra with Sylvester Stallone. He played the main killer with that that awesome looking knife. You know, he was the main killer in Cobra that Sylvester Stallone fought at the end and hung him on the hook. They had that fight at the end. Yeah, he was the main killer in Cobra with Stallone and Brigitte Nielsen. He goes after her in the hospital. And then he was in the Terminator. Arnold gets him at the beginning of the Terminator, you know, wash day tomorrow, nothing clean. He, I've seen him play Hercules in a movie before. I think it was Jason and the Argonauts, if I remember right. But anyway, there's a lot of actors and people in here that you've seen in other films, probably. I think all in all, this is a really good movie. You know, if you like martial arts, if you like action, this should be right up your alley. It's like hard times. And the other movie I was going to mention, it's two movies, actually, three movies. Hard Times, it reminds me of that. And then also the Clint Eastwood, uh, Every Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. It reminds me of, of those movies, just without the comedy. There was more comedy in Every Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. Those were great movies, I think. I did a review of uh, Every Which Way But Loose. It's on the channel, too, my channel here, if you want to see it. The Clint Eastwood playlist. But um, those are some great movies. But Lionheart's one of my favorites. If you like action, martial arts, Jean-Claude Van Damme, I'm sure you'll love this movie. If you haven't seen it, most people have. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a really fun movie. If you like martial arts and Van Damme and action and all that, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. You're in for a treat if you haven't seen it. So check it out. To me, it's a classic. It's an action martial arts classic, and I've always loved it. This has been the Late Night Review. Please like and subscribe, share this video, and until next time, everybody, have a good night.